Hi folks. Fusion 360's ability to pick a feature like a hole and hit the delete key to remove it is a great feature. It can be super useful when you're trying to work with parts or simplify other people's parts. But there's an even better way to do this. To make sure this works, go up to your name, preferences, design and make sure enable arrange and simplifies tool is checked and you need to be in parametric mode which is the mode that we normally work in but if you right click on your part you want to see do not capture design history clicking do not capture design history would move you into what they call direct modeling mode um, we never work in that mode you don't want to be in that mode uh, for this sort of thing go to modify simplify remove features the settings seem to be persistent. Sometimes I've found that it leaves select all checked, which seems quite silly. Uh, during this demo, I had extrude checked and it remembered that for some reason, but uncheck them all for starters. We'll pick our body and then let's say I want to remove these holes. Check the holes option. And as you slide this feature size left to right, it changes which holes will be deleted. Now, this is an awesome feature, but you can probably notice that pink down at the bottom. Ignore that for a second, and I'll just demonstrate the power now. We've got those what six holes or so selected. Check delete, and they're all bulk removed. You can also override these settings. So as we increase the feature size, for some reason, it's incorrectly adding this feature under manual features where it says no selection right now. We should be able to check those and remove them from the delete feature option and we get along just fine. Where this frankly though is even more helpful is fillets or chamfers. We've all gotten that model in and especially for us machinists, sometimes I just don't want all of these fillets and chamfers. They can mess with height planes and drilling hole depths and so forth. Modify, simplify, remove features, chamfers, there's something going on with this bottom hole. Frankly, this has been more reliable than it's even showing right now for me, but nevertheless, a powerful way to bulk edit uh, your tools and make use of the ability to do these sort of bulk simplifies. Taking an even, I'd argue one step further though, is the extrude side of this. It's kind of blew me away where this is a CAD model that we have no design history on in Fusion right now. If we check extrude, it's actually looking for various different things that Fusion deems as extruded features, this is really powerful. Uh, and again, what makes it really powerful is the ability to pre-select a bunch of things and then come back in and say, oh, I didn't want that one. I just want those four removed, done. As always, folks, hope you learned something. Hope you enjoyed. Take care. See you soon.